Do you really know Jesus Christ? In 1 Corinthians 2 verse 2, the Apostle Paul said, For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. The Apostle Paul declared to a godless world and to a church being led astray by foolish pride and worldly wisdom that knowing Jesus and Him crucified was the number one priority of his life. Nothing else mattered. He would never get over the realization that Jesus, being God, took our place on that cross and sacrificed himself because of his great love for us. He came to understand that the gospel is a person. He was a person in eternity as the Son of God, the second person of the Godhead. He was appointed as a mediator and a surety of an everlasting covenant and as such stood as a person. In every Old Testament prophecy, he is set forth as a person. When he appeared on this earth in Bethlehem's manger, he was a person. He lived as a servant under the law of God and was tempted in all points like as we are, yet without sin as a person. His suffering was real. He hung on a cross and died a real death. He was raised the third day as a person who ate and drank. He had scars to prove himself to be the resurrected Christ. The disciples watched as he ascended into glory as our great high priest, where he sits at the right hand of God. Hallelujah! Beloved, faith lays hold of the person who loved them and gave himself for him. Faith rests in him as it is persuaded of the greatness of his person. Salvation is not a system or a plan or an offer. It is the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah said, Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. Beloved, have you repented of your sin and turned to Jesus that you might be saved? Like the Apostle Paul, make it your life's ambition, your number one priority to know the person of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. This is Lane Wilder for Carry the Light Ministries, bringing you insights from an elder.